I lived in South Korea for 15 years. I got to know the South Korean people pretty well. Even a casual observer who spends any insignificant length of time in South Korea, and especially if he or she spends time there during a quote-unquote crisis with North Korea and the United States, will observe, quite honestly, that the South Koreans don't worry about it. In America's attempt to save the southern port of the Korean Peninsula from the North's invasion from 1950 to 1953, we laid to waste the entire peninsula. We used napalm, incendiaries, and other ordinances. We destroyed the country. North Korea was reduced to rubble. We even committed international human rights violations by bombing their dams, according to Noam Chomsky, destroying their agriculture. We showed a ruthlessness to North Korea and even South Korea, such as only the Japanese and Iraqis could really know. Okay, fast forward to today. South Korea has a booming, leading world economy. They produce excellent electronics. They have a hospitable country to travel in, a wonderful people. The North Koreans would probably be of the same demeanor if they didn't live under dictatorship. Kim Il-sung, the founder of North Korea, is a hero to the people of both North and South Korea because he vehemently fought the Japanese. Whatever we think of North Korea now, whatever disdain we have for its leadership, whatever love and compassion we have for its people, there is an unequivocal fact that Americans must grasp. We, Americans, are the only ones hyping up, ramping up, and worsening the situ situation in Asia where Korea and the peninsula is concerned. Any individual with a modicum of intelligence, sense, and reason, perhaps a smattering of compassion and imagination, knows that any North Korean leader, despite his brutality toward his fellow leaders from whom he wants to steal all power and protect himself, only ratchets up the tension to gain favor because he has no other card to play because like every other country the United States leads sanctions against, North Korea is strangled and we are largely responsible for that. Anyone knows that his nuclear program is to protect himself. No matter how crazy a megalomaniac is, he's a megalomaniac because he loves himself and he loves his power. So just like with Saddam Hussein, we don't have to push him to war. He could be bought off with intelligence, reason, creativity, compassion, and proper leadership. Not the drunken stupidity coming out of Washington right now. Pushing a leader like Kim Jong-un toward war will possibly lead to great numbers of deaths because of his ego, but not because of his planning. And the responsibility will lie with us. He only wants to protect his power and his nation. Any country like North Korea, labeled a quote-unquote rogue, would and should develop nuclear weapons, even though we hate these weapons. The United States and the former Soviet Union were bristling with weapons, and the concept of MAD, mutually assured destruction, kept us from nuclear war, and the ingenious leadership of the Kennedy uh, administration uh, in 1962, which kept us from destruction. We don't have that kind of intelligence, that kind of oratory. We don't have that kind of leadership. We don't have that kind of foresight or compassion in the White House today. We have stupidity in the White House today, which is probably going to get thousands of South Koreans killed, tens of thousands of North Koreans killed, and probably hundreds of Americans killed, perhaps some Japanese. This administration and the American people would be wise to get this president to keep his mouth shut, to get Pence to keep his mouth shut, or at least to get them to speak with intelligence. North Korea does not want to attack anybody. North Korea knows it would be destroyed in a matter of hours. No megalomaniac runs his country that way, toward suicide. As Noam Chomsky has said, the MIT professor and politico, and genius in linguistics and politics. 
Every time, according to the record, we have eased up on North Korea, they have eased up on their rhetoric and their nuclear program. And every time we ratchet up the pressure because some egotistical maniac is in the White House, they have gotten worse to deal with. Those are the facts. It's that simple. America, stop being petrified of everything. Pretend you are brave as you say you are. Be like the South Koreans who don't worry about it one iota until we go on the warpath. The warpath.